For light of wavelength 589 nanometers, calculate the critical angles for the following substances when surrounded by water. Fluorite, flint glass, zircon. So this is just like the last problem. The only difference is instead of being surrounded by air, now it's surrounded by water. And I thought I might point out why 589 nanometers, uh, the angle of refraction is going to change depending on the wavelength. Uh, so the, um, in, a, in other words, the index of refraction is not a constant for all wavelengths. It changes with the wavelength. And the, the table we're given in chapter 22, table 22.1, I think, is, uh, is given for all substances at 589 nanometers. So anyhow, we're going to start out with Snell's Law. So Snell's Law is that the N1 times the sine of theta1 is equal to N2 times the sine of theta2. And then we're going to set it up for total internal refraction, meaning that theta1 is going to be the critical angle and theta2 is going to be 90 degrees. If you don't understand that, then please go back and review the previous video for problem number 10. So N1 sine of theta theta c, the critical angle, is equal to n2 times the sine of 90. The sine of 90 equals 1, so multiplicative identity property, we can just cancel it out. And then we want to solve for the critical angle, so we will divide by n1, so the sine of the critical angle is equal to n2 over n1, and then we take the inverse sine of both sides, so the critical angle is equal to the inverse sine of n2 over n1. Now as with the last problem, n2 is going to be the uh, the substance with the lower index of refraction, so for us it's going to be water, and then uh, uh, the index of refraction for water is 1.333. So you'll just use this number for all the parts of this problem, and then N1, you'll switch out the angle of index for whatever the material is. For example, the material it asks for me in the first part of the problem is fluorite. And fluorite is 1.434. And so I just plug those in to those parts of the problem and take the inverse sine of that ratio. And it would give me the critical angle, which is 68.3675 degrees. Now, if you're having trouble finding uh, where, say, where am I getting these index of refraction, you just have to get them from a list. There's no way to calculate them. They're determined experimentally, and so you have to find them as a list inside your textbook most of the time. Or if your textbook doesn't have a list, then you should have been given something with a list of these index indices of refraction. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the About section of this video. And on the blog, you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter. And you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.